Zelensky was uh, in Ukraine easily the best recognizable comedian and the most successful one. And the project that was like his flagship thing was a regular comedy show. It was not what you would call highbrow humor. There was uh, quite a lot of um, kind of a primitive humor, I would say, and quite a lot of sophisticated making fun of, of politics. He would just do these really funny and clever takedowns of Ukrainian politicians, Russian politicians, you know, because it, it was in many ways a shared cultural and political space. Понятно, а выбирать-то не из кого. Из двух пи***цев выбираем меньше. И так 25 лет подряд. Ты знаешь, что интересно? В этот раз ничего не поменяется. Знаешь почему? Потому что ты, мой батя, я, мы снова выберем пи***ца. Да потому что да. Servant of the People is, is, a, is a good show. It's really funny. It's about a history teacher who is sort of thrust into the presidency because of a, a video of him that goes viral. This is your ultimate, like a regular person suddenly, suddenly gets all the power in the country and his heart is in the right place, but everything is against him. There are, there's corruption everywhere and he's he just wants to change the country. He almost like showed on the screen what kind of president he would be. And then I think that was his basically campaign manifesto. Мне кажется, старые политики живут простым очень принципом. Ни у кого ничего не спросили, многое пообещали, ничего не сделали. Я поступлю по-другому. He's basically asking to people to submit their five main problems that they see in Ukraine. You could call it like crowdsourced political program. His whole campaign was a number of videos like that, where instead of doing a professional video, which he easily could have done, he was doing this little selfie clips. It worked really well for his image of non-traditional anti-establishment guy. He was keeping his program pretty vague and empty, and it worked. Дякую всім українцям, де ви зараз не знаходились. Я обіцяю, що ніколи не підведу вас всіх. Усім країнам пострадянського союзу. Подивіться на нас. Усе можливо. His victory speech. He said, I am the hope for change, not just for people in Ukraine, but for all people, hinting obviously on Russia. I still think that Putin holds big grudge on this. Nobody knows what Putin thought. Probably in all likelihood, the leadership of Russia was thinking that he's an experienced, he's new, this, this, this is our chance. It's my hypothesis that uh, he was looking at Zelensky as a uh, very easy partner who can be played. It's uh, eerie to, to watch it now, to be honest. I think that there's a high chance of ending the war. When? When? As soon as possible. I want to believe that it'll be this year. The presidency was defined by a pretty consistent and precipitous decline in popularity. We're talking about ratings of 30s, even even down to like 20s. It was connected to several issues. There was no progress in peace. There were implications of uh, his company listed in the Pandora Papers. He was trying to accumulate more power in the office of the president, which Ukrainians despise. He started uh, cracking down on opposition. He was changing tremendously and he was becoming a strong man. People saw him slipping towards the usual way of doing business in Ukraine. A lot of Ukrainians were not seeing it as a successful presidency. With President Litvy, with other leaders, the feeling and the use of mass information is the fact that there is a war, there are armed forces on the roads, there is a mobilization, people are going to go, it's not like that. We don't need panic. What is happening in that clip is that he is holding a press conference for foreign media. Zelensky was trying to downplay the threat, but also putting out some confusing messages. Uh, these expectations of the war, they 
forced many investors to leave Ukraine. And of course, for President Zelensky, it was unacceptable. In the weeks that led up to the crisis, from the communication point of view, I don't think that he did a very good job. Всім добрий вечір. Лідер фракції тут, голова офісу президента тут, прем'єр-міністр Шмигаль тут, Подаляк тут, президент тут. Всі ми тут. At the outbreak of war, there was fear and, and there was a suspicion that he may, you know, capitulate, he will concede, he'll get scared. That clip uh, was perceived that the captain is not abandoning the ship. From that moment, people understood he is not surrendering and there are millions of Ukrainians who are ready to put up that fight. Yes, yes, it definitely was a turning point. If you watch a clip of Zelensky talking, for example, to the to the Western press in January and this clip of Zelensky standing in the street of Kiev. You can think that these are two different people, but if you compare this clip with Zelensky of 2019 when he was campaigning for president, that's the same person. The in terms of in terms of style, in terms of how you know sincere and open he is. It's like we made full circle we came back to the 2019 Zelensky, which is the guy people voted for. Без вас Україна буде самотня. Ми довели свою силу. Доведіть, що ви нас не відпускаєте, не відпускаєте. His speech to the European Parliament it was really striking as it was translated for the members of the European Parliament. And you hear the translator fighting back tears as he's translating Zelensky's words. I've never heard that happen. We are fighting just for our land and for our freedom. Despite the fact that all large cities of our country are now blocked. The moment was so emotional and raw, I think it really helped to change a lot of minds in, in Europe. They have to understand that for Ukraine, it's the battle for existence. His message is also, if we stop putting at the Ukrainian border, everybody will be safer. His appeals to Europe have been very much uh, impactful. In, in really making it morally and politically impossible for them to, to stay on the sidelines and, and not support Ukraine. Today, his his background as somebody who's working with the audience his whole life is coming come in handy. He definitely knows how to command the audience, how to grasp their attention, how to put on a show, so to say. He probably wasn't the best president in peace times, but he was very good in the beginning of the war, creating the hope, uniting the nation, and giving an impetus for resistance. He is not the president anymore. He's the leader of the nation. I know because I asked people in Ukraine, they find it convincing. To uh, stay in, in the capital in Kyiv, that's, uh, that's really inspiring for a lot of people in the country to see. I think it shouldn't be forgotten that uh, there are thousands of regular Ukrainians who are demonstrating even bigger bravery every day. Unarmed civilians trying to stop tanks with their bare hands. This spirit of regular Ukrainians is what's inspiring Zelensky too. He's proving worthy of the of the nation that he's leading.